Hey guys, welcome back to Assetto Corsa for another video. Today we're taking the next step in our career in Assetto Corsa, which is a three lap quick sprint race around the Vallelunga club circuit in our performance modified Abart SS, which is essentially a Fiat 500. Now, the last event was at the same circuit with the same car, just a time attack event, and it may have given us a, an overblown sense of self-confidence and uh, ability. We feel confident on this track, we feel like we understand the handling of the car pretty well. Well, here's where that really gets put to the test, because we are racing against a field of seven opponents, we're starting last, there's no qualifying, and our goal is to get first. So that's what we're here for, for the win. That's what we're trying to do. And let me tell you, it's not easy. So if you're coming here because you've had the frustration of losing time after time on this event, you're not alone. It's an incredibly difficult first race as far as the, the learning curve and the difficulty curve. Uh, Kunos certainly have not held any punches back. This is difficult. Now we are racing at 100% AI because why not? But if you feel like they're just thrashing you every time, um, I would encourage you to lower that difficulty to a level where it's still competitive and difficult, but not impossible. We don't want to go uh, for a walk in the park with these uh, with these cars at you know 80% AI difficulty. Uh, I think it's important that we push and stretch ourselves as we grow in our career. So I'm taking it at 100% AI because I'm that kind of masochist. What else do we need to know? This is the Vallelunga Club circuit. It's a reasonably short circuit, it's only about six turns. Fun fact, this is actually where Kuno Simulazione are based. They have an office here at the Vallelunga circuit in real life. As you go down the start finish straight, make sure you lean out the window, honk the horn and say good day to Kunos for making such an awesome game. But also while you're at it, say why the heck did you make this game so hard? This is event number two in the career series. It's meant to be a novice event and it's bloody difficult. So let's talk about the race itself. Three laps. We're starting in eighth place, last, and we need to get ourselves up to first. This is not going to be an easy thing to do. What we need to do is make sure that we've done enough laps on the circuit in this car with the race trim, with any setup that we've got, with uh, the right amount of fuel, just so we have a good handle on how the car will uh, move around the track. We want to make sure we've got our braking zones nailed in. We really want to be hitting a time, a lap time of about 1.02, um, 1.025. That's our target. My best time around here, I think, is 1.022. I've seen race pace in this event anywhere between 101, which is bonkers, and 105 for the winning car. So it's quite a big spread, but you really want to be consistently lapping at about the 1025. If you can get it a little bit faster, then you'll be in good stead. Well, let's talk about our strategy. So the AI are particularly slow in the infield section. So that is the Tornantino and the S's. They're very slow through here, very cautious, often breaking mid corner. So you can easily use that to your advantage and overtaking on the S's, I highly recommend. To your disadvantage, the final turn on the circuit, the Roma turn, is misleadingly difficult to overtake on. Somehow it's also surprisingly easy for the AI to just zoom around the outside or block the racing line. So make sure that you've done all your overtaking for the lap in the infield section. Don't try any heroics on turn one or turn six because it just isn't worth it and it won't work. Our goal is to move from 8th to 4th or even 3rd on the first lap. You heard me right. We need to be getting from the back to the podium on the first lap. If we can do this, then it gives us two laps to tackle the final two places. It's not going to be easy, but we can do it. 
it's critical that we don't lose speed and lose time, especially on that infield section by spinning wheels, going wide. You know, these things are real lap time killers and they will lose you the race. We've only got three laps to get the job done, so we really need to be clinical, precise and efficient with our passing so that we can get the job done. Good luck. This is a tough race. It's a baptism of fire, but I believe in you. You can do this. All right, let's go. Let's hit the track. I can't tell you how many times I've tried and failed to win at this event and getting P1 is oh so sweet. It's the kind of thing that when you finally crack it and you win this event, God it feels good. So over to you, take what you've learned, apply it, hit those breaking points, take those places and you too can be at the top step of the podium for the Vallelunga Club Circuit Race, the second event in the Nova Series in Assetto Corsa's career mode. Now, if you like this video, click like, hit subscribe, 
and there'll be plenty more Assetto Corsa career mode content coming your way real soon. So, see you then. <laughs>